Well done. Well, I don't know. I don't know about the children at home, but Barney, we've just been working really hard to have a look at any patterns in our data, okay, in our measurements. And we've been thinking, which is quite tricky to do, we've been thinking about how we can put that information into a graph. Okay, into a graph of our own. So, Ruben, um, not Ruben, Oscar, can you just pass me the, um, the data please, darling? Thank you. Okay, so we had our list and we had a look at it. Can some of the children tell everybody, tell myself and Miss Sutton and the children at home what you have done with your data, what you have been doing when you've been sat at your table? Oscar, what have you and Alfie been doing? We've been writing um, from the data, the data sessions to do the smaller sessions. Oh, let's have a look. I see, okay, so Alfie and Oscar have looked at, have you looked at the numbers and you've started writing down a list from the biggest person's feet and you're going to work down to the smallest person's feet. And now that's quite tricky isn't it because you're looking at those numbers thinking oh what's the biggest and then what's the next biggest. So I think a graph will definitely help you see that more clearly. Okay, brilliant boys, well done. Um, Alison through, what have you been doing girls? Big horses? marking on there. Well, do you think if you had it in a graph it would be a lot easier to see? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So it was quite a hard task, wasn't it, asking how you would do a graph? I saw one group, and I don't know which group it was now, actually sketching out how you would do your graph. Who was doing it? Who was putting how they would do a graph on their bit of paper? Were you Charlotte? Okay. Charlotte, can you tell me, can you remember how, how you were going to do your graph? What did you have on your axes? Oh, big boy, Charlotte, I can't hear you. So you're going to draw your axes, good girl, because they're, they're called your axes, aren't they? And what were you going to put on the axes, Charlotte? Brilliant. So you were going to do centimetres on one of the axes. Okay, perfect. If you did centimetres at one of the parts of the graph, what would you need to do on the other bit of the graph? What other information? We've got the centimetres, we've got the length. What's the other bit of information that we need to know for our graph? What do we need to know? Alice? The names. The names. Okay, so I have done the work here. I have drawn quickly a graph. Now have a look at the graph. Okay, up this axis, I've got centimetres, and along here, what does that say, Jimmy? Name. Name. We will write everybody's name. Now, we're not going to do that now because it's playtime and we've worked really, really hard, but if you are at home and you have measured people's feet, you could draw your graph like that, so you can do centimetres up the side and people's names along the bottom. And if you've got time today, you might want to put your data on there. If not, we can have a go at doing that tomorrow, okay? Because I'm going to do this later, and then the children in school are going to have a go at drawing it carefully on square paper tomorrow, which is quite a tricky thing to do. And also, we'll have to update our caterpillar graph and see how these have grown as well. Okay, so that's for tomorrow. So thank you for the children who've joined us from home. I hope you've enjoyed doing a bit of measuring. As I say, we'll do, carry on with the graph tomorrow. And we'll also tomorrow, we'll ask questions about the graph. Okay, and if anyone can put their graphs online tonight, um, then we can have a look at your graphs. We might even be able to print them out and we can ask questions about your graphs that you've done at home. So that would be really good, wouldn't it? To have a look at the data and have a look and see who's the biggest and the smallest and things like that of children who do it at home, okay? So thank you. Everyone at home, have a lovely day and um, well done everybody. Okay, right.